Hello Libra and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of September 14th through to the 20th. So Libra, this is a general reading. The messages may or may not resonate. Be sure to check out your moon and rising sign reading as well as take what fits and leave what doesn't. So I'm going to be looking at your current, your recent past, your current and your near future energy, pulling an overall energy for the week card, pulling clarifiers and finishing it up with an Archangel Power Tarot card. If you enjoy the way I read the cards or just enjoy this reading, I'd be honored if you subscribe to the channel, click on that notification bell, and also give it a like and a thumbs up. So Libra, here is your recent past energy. Here is your current energy. And here is your near future energy. And that's your overall energy for the week. So it looks like you're doing some soul searching this week. And I can see that, you know, um, you're going within for inner clarity. You have to use your intuition in order to come to the answers you're seeking here or find the answers that you're seeking. You know it's not going to just be based on logic and reason here that you need that emotional, intuitive um, energy to come to the conclusion because you also have the two of swords which is about making a choice or making a decision here but in your recent past you had the four of pentacles six of wands and the emperor so it looks like you were big things were happening for you here libra with this emperor energy this is about you making very um, strategic plans ambitious goals setting that bar super high for yourself and really going after it with everything you've got with with bold Cur boldness, courage, um, being very strategic, very being very practical in how you are um, in investing your time and your energy and your money and being very resourceful and also being very tolerant of others as well. So you really had that drive here and you set ambitious goals for yourself. It looks like you were seeking stability in some area of your life, whether or not that's relationships or your money career finance. And it looks like you achieved success with that, with whatever it was that you were doing, or some success with it, with the Six of Wands here. In your current week, you have the Two of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So something that was difficult and challenging is coming to an end this week, and I feel like that is related to this choice or decision. This can also represent the need for you to compromise in some kind of a situation. But you are, you know, you're trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. But once you make that decision, whatever is difficult and challenging for you will be coming to an end with this Ten of Swords here. And I feel like this involves other people that you could be collaborating with others. But you really and truly are like working on your skill and producing quality work Um so it could even be a, a new job or something that's allowing you to tap into your natural abilities and talents and really work on honing and fine-tuning your skills and your craftsmanship and something and something that you're doing just really mastering something and you're enjoying it and you're or it's something that you're going to enjoy in your near future you have the two of cups the world and the knight of swords so the Knight of Swords can represent a lifestyle change. It can also represent someone bringing you the truth, um, just telling you, like telling you the way it is, what it is. Um, someone that's you know on some kind of mission or quest to just find those facts and seek facts. But for many of you, I feel like this is a transition, some kind of a lifestyle change because you have the world here beside it, and the world represents a, com a successful completion of a goal. So this is a, su a successful completion of a goal, a life lesson, a chapter in your life, or some situation, and now it's time for you to move on, which represents that change, this change that's going on. But you have the Two of Cups, so for some of you, this tra ch change and transition could be the ending of your single life. This could be a new love opportunity, romantic love coming in, a partnership of some sorts, um, so this could even be if you're already partnered, this could be a next step in a relationship such as a proposal, marriage, new baby, um, or so a deeper commitment, um, just relearning, you know, re getting to know that person you're involved with again, or just that deepening of that connection. This can also just be about partnerships as well. So your best friends, um, those kinds of relationships, uh, colleagues, coworkers, someone you're in business with or thinking of going into business with. So this can represent that, that 
ending and this new beginning here and they're representing that change for you and like really if you are going from being single to in a relationship that's a lifestyle change so is being in a relationship but also going from being in a relationship to getting married that's also can be a lifestyle change too for many of you so let's pull some clarifiers for you libra and see what we can find so with this hermit energy here okay we have the king of pentacles so you need to be very solid and practical. Use your resources wisely. And your resources include everything from your time, money, and your energy. And even your resources in terms of other people. So if there's any kind of collaborating that's going on, it's using people in the best possible way. So if you have to delegate any responsibilities, you're delegating it in a very wise kind of way where you would be, you know, giving handing out tasks related to the individual's um, talents and, and abilities and their skill sets. So you're really looking at it in that kind of a way. With this Four of Pentacles here, the stability you're looking for, you, you have made some kind of a clear, you have had some kind of clarity, made a final decision, but the stability is really truly what you're seeking overall, whether or not that's stability in your relationships, your money, career, or all of the above. Um, you, that's really what it is that you're seeking on a soul level right now is stability. The Six of Wands, your persistence is what led to that success for you. This Emperor, you made these choices and decisions because of some kind of worry that you were experiencing or thoughts that were going on in your head. I'm going to pull another clarifier. Why is this Nine of Swords here for Libra? Why is the Nine of Swords here? What is the Nine of Swords about? Why is Libra stuck in your head? Okay, a loss. Okay, so you experienced some kind of loss. Um, there could be some kind of loss, regret, something that you invested a lot of your time and energy into. So it doesn't have to be emotional. It doesn't have to be heartbreak as in a relationship ending. It can just be something that you found heartbreaking because you invested a lot of yourself into something. And it fell through. And when it came to that emperor energy, that was something that you you had those these worries in the back of your mind. But I do see that you were successful here. I'm going to also pull one for this three of swords. I want to know more about the conclusion of that three of swords and how you dealt with that. Okay, so it's an offer. And how, how you were overcoming that is by focusing on what you wanted emotionally. Now, this can be a card that represents a new baby, new relationship, a proposal, a marriage, but it can even just be you following your heart, following your emotions, and any opportunities that come your way that allow you to, um, you know, do something that really is emotionally fulfilling. Could be volunteer work, could be a side project, could even be in your career as well, but it could even be in your relationships, and that can be romantic relationships or even just relationships as in your friends and family that support you as well. But I really feel like you used that to help you overcome whatever losses um, you experienced here. And you gain support from that. So yeah, you need to use your intuition when you're making the decision here with this with this moon energy here. And again, this three of pentacles, this collaborating that you're doing, this working with others that you're doing, it's going to help build that stability in your life. And with this ten of swords, you've taken actions in a new direction here. You've taken some action. Now you're waiting for the results. You know this ten of wands energy is, or sorry, this ten of swords energy, this difficult, challenging situation is over. And now you're being hope, you're hopeful, and you're looking towards the future. And the steps that you've already taken, and the actions you've already taken, and you're very hopeful about what's coming your way now. And with this two of cups, so. Whoever this individual is, whatever it represents, whether or not it's romantic love or just partnership with someone else, a best friend, family member, um, even a coworker, colleague, this is really allowing you, it's very supportive towards your magician type energy. So this is about, you, it's, they're supportive of you in your creative energy and they're there to help you take your ideas Take your vision, take what it is that you want your future to look like, and they're there to help you make it real. 
and help you realize that. So it's a very beautiful energy. And this world is really about, you know, the chapter that you finished, the chapter that you completed is really about you now. What is no longer emotionally fulfilling you, you are now moving away from that and you're intuitively seeking the things that emotionally fulfill you. That is what you're doing. And with this Knight of Swords, this lifestyle change or whatever changes you're making, it is because you are following your passions. So you have ideas, you have this urge to create, and this could be in relationships too. This could be a fiery, passionate relationship, but it could even be just, you know, your hobbies, your talents. Someone could be asking you to help them out with something. Um, you having a side business or even your actual career, you're moving in a new direction that is allowing you to tap into your creativity. It's really inspiring you. You're tapping into your passions and it's very fulfilling. It's on, on a really deep spiritual level for you. So I'm now going to just pull your Archangel Power Tarot card and see any final messages here for you. Okay, and we have the Two of Raphael. <laughs> so this is the same as the Two of Cups energy, Libra. So this is about two hearts being dedicated to creating something wonderful and beautiful. So whether or not that's a relationship or that is something, some kind of creative project or new project. Um, so it can really play out, it's going to play out differently for all of you, whether or not it's in your relationships or your money career finance but this is really about kindred spirits coming together and you not giving up on those you love because they are here they are supporting you and you can really see that in this reading so libra beautiful reading if you enjoyed this reading be sure to subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell and if it resonated in any way or you just enjoyed it be sure to give it a like and a thumbs up and i will see you next time